another team with loads of upside and potential for what's going on in the summer window due to their Champions League qualification <laughs> is indeed Tottenham Hotspur led by the Antonio Conte. Got him top four. That was what he phrased as the league title for Tottenham this season. If they could achieve top four, it would be the equivalent of winning the Premier League. He said that back in like February, which was a qualify. They just announced the media. The fee is a mixed bag as to how much money was going to be injected into the club in order to purchase players this summer. But I saw the most common was, and probably most realistic, 150 million euros is probably what Conte will get to spend. And that's in an effort to keep him at the club as well because he didn't make a statement confirming that he will be at the club long term. And we all know that Conte is a manager that doesn't stay at clubs for an extended period of time to begin with. He's kind of get in, get out, try to get some hardware. Tottenham's a different club because they just don't win hardware, not to just shit on them, but like there is a little bit of building up that needs to take place. And the lack of investment in which Conte looks for in clubs is also a so factor. Is I guess the first question, well, props, props to him for bringing this team to the Champions League. I mean, it, it is a quality team. His two signings were certainly crucial in getting him there. They need to sign Kulisevsky on a permanent. There is no doubt. He contributed like no other on the back half of the season. Um, Bentecourt is already on a permanent and then probably need to bolster their right wing back. They also need to sign uh, Romero. I believe he's still on loan. Yeah, he's but t- two say they loan, only... Yeah. They only get 150 million. I believe his contract to buy is 40 million, which is expensive. So Spurs are going to have to do some business. Conte is the guy. More players are going to be likely to stay. Maybe you don't need 40 million to keep Romero just because they will be playing Champions League football. I don't I've, know. Does, I've, I've does said, Conte stay? Yeah, I think he stays. And I said this. I've, I'm beating a dead horse, or not? I guess not. I'm just repeating something I've said a lot, um, but. Yes, I, I I think Conte with a full summer with full investment with backing and like the backing that he's getting, a it will want him it will keep him at the club, which is the f- most important thing you want considering their success in making Champions League football, which is considered success for Tottenham Football Club at this point, and um, as well as the players and how well they're playing, like Son, Kane, Kulusevski, Bentacore, um, Romero, I guess can be a little brash at times, but he's still a capable center back. Um, there's players of that team that can Holyberg players in this team that are, there's a lot to work with at this moment. So I think there's a lot to look forward to. Con- they seem to be bought into Conte already, the players there and with financial backing and with a full summer, bring the right players in. They're going to be a serious threat next year. In my opinion, it's just a matter of if Spurs as a cult, uh, as a culture and as a club, don't be Spursy as they say. Um, Cause there seems to be that culture aspect with clubs where it's like, they can never just do it like Leicester forever. I mean, obviously they won the premier league, but like Leicester and, and winning the FA cup, like, all right, they're still a team that can, can get the job done at times. Mm-hmm. And um, that's a smaller example of that, but Spurs in, in this sense, they need to win something. They are a club that has a lot of, has had a lot of investment, uh, for a short stint, they did it with Poch, and they had that moment of almost winning something in the Champions League. But now, then they teetered off, and then off manager signings, and now they have this one manager who seems getting the right uh, the right things out of these players. So, I'm looking forward at as a neutral. I don't really have any feeling towards Tottenham anyway, right. um, but I think when they're playing well, they're exciting to watch. So, yeah, um, looking forward to it. They play attractive football. How? What's um? Harry Kane has a big. It's in the middle of a big ass contract, isn't he? You think he stays this summer? Who? Yeah. Sorry, Harry Kane. Yeah, I think yeah. the ship has sailed. I, yeah. think that, I think that 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 considering his age and and I think at the point what what he sees with Conte, I think he's a little bit more invested. The only team I ever seen linked with Harry Kane is United, Manchester City. I thought well, not anymore. Well, not anymore. I saw you not, like United. So like, he's already got too many. I don't even know balance. if I'd want Kane. If I'm being, if that sounds, st- if that I don't sounds know why. St- I don't know why you would. Too He's high nasty. pressure of a signing. I think. I think that's a high pressure signing. That's a, a, and I also think it is his age. We need it. We already have a player that can get. Eight, he had. Eight, he had more goal. We had a player in Ronaldo who had more goals than Harry Kane did. So it's like, not saying he's a. I'm not saying Ronaldo is, of now is better than a goal scorer than Kane is, but he can get the job done in a position that we'd rather. I'd rather sign someone young and hungrier. 
who we can have something to prove who's something to prove like i think kane is a top player i think last summer yes it would have been great to have him but i just feel like kane is only getting older we already have an older style style of player in ronaldo who can do the job in goal scoring and get the goals when we need them but a, a younger hungrier player would be better i think for the long term kane's a, a quick fix solution which could go wrong considering united's many things the many things united have to fix as a club so i don't know <laughs> last thing they need is an attacker yeah. <laughs> Exa- also, another good point. I don't want to spend eighty million on a forward and then <laughs> have nothing for a center back. So, <laughs> or a CDM.